Welcome to Mary's New Evangelization.com. My name's Tom. Check out the website, www.maryisthenewevangelization.com. And uh, we're just um, hanging out here on a Tuesday afternoon. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, whether or not you are a full time or a part time. Catholic. Uh, there's <clears throat> full-time Catholics and there's part-time Catholics. Uh, so where do you fall? Are you full-time or are you part-time? Uh, let's see. How do you know if you're full-time or part-time? Well, a part-time Catholic is a Catholic who is Catholic part of the time of their life and the other part of the time they're they're off doing something else. So a part-time Catholic is somebody who uh, can turn it on, turn it off, can check in, can check out uh, according to their schedule, according to the people they're with, according to the time of day, according to, you know, the situation. You know, if they need to turn it on, they can turn it on. Okay. Uh, but when they need to turn it off, they can turn it off. So part-time Catholics earn part-time wages. Okay, so uh, typically a part-time Catholic will not make as much uh, as a full-time Catholic in regards to the uh, reward, the heavenly reward, of course. So you got to ask yourself, Honestly, just like look at yourself squarely in the eyes and ask yourself, am I a full-time Catholic or am I a part-time Catholic? Okay, <clears throat> and answer honestly. So a couple scenarios to think about. Okay, when you're hanging out with, say, Protestants, okay, uh, are you Catholic at that point or are you not Catholic? Um when you're around Protestants, do you ever talk about the Blessed Virgin Mary? Do you ever talk about the Eucharist? Um, purgatory. Do you ever talk about saints? Pope, when you're around Protestants, do, do these subjects ever come up? If they don't come up, then you're a part-time Catholic. You're not a Catholic when you're around Protestants. Okay, how about when you're around non-believers, people who just flat out don't believe? Um, do, do you ever talk about pro-life? Do you ever talk about the uh, negative effects of artificial contraception? Do you ever talk about um, heaven, hell, around non-believers? Do do, if you don't, you're a part-time Catholic. Okay? So, when you're around Catholics, is that when you turn it on? Or when you're around certain Catholics, is that when you turn it on? Okay, now, <clears throat> you might be um, scratching your head on this one. You might say, well, you know, who can be full-time Catholic? You need a break from all this religion. Well, okay, if you need a break, then you're definitely part-time. Part-time Catholics are comparable to um, what Jesus said. You're neither hot nor you're cold. You're part-time. You're lukewarm. So this goes <clears throat> for priests and nuns, bishops. You know, they're part-time. They could be part-time too. It doesn't matter if you're employed if you're a full-time employee of the church, does that make you a full-time Catholic? No, it doesn't. <clears throat> so <clears throat> don't kid yourself to think, well, I work for the church, so I am a full-time Catholic and I deserve <clears throat> some time off. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you know, there's no time off, really. There's really no time off from your Catholic faith, 
no time. It's got to be everything. It's got to be your whole everything. So does that mean God doesn't want you to go swimming? No. But when you're going swimming, that doesn't mean you don't think about God. Does, it, does that mean God doesn't want you to go to games? No. That doesn't mean God doesn't want you to go to games. Okay? Be a full-time Catholic. Please, we need full-time Catholics. That's what the saints were. God bless.